Hey Pokemon fans, we're back and this time I'm going to show you the final part of my collection. I've done three previous videos before. Uh, one is a Charizard collection where I have probably about uh, 30 Charizard cards. Um, so go check out, those links will be in the description. Um, in this one I'm going to show you my base set, my jungle, my fossil and my Team Rocket collection. Now most of these are near complete. Um, I am missing a couple of trainer cards and there's a few of the sets. Um, I'm going to just adjust the camera angle and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so first we've got this um, unofficial card collector's guide. and My parents bought me this um, when I was a little kid. Um, I'm obviously now a big kid. I uh, haven't changed much. Um, but I thought I'd just get quickly give you a, few, a look at some of the pages. Um, it basically lists all of the cards in the first few sets. Um, so as you can see up here you have Charizard and it gives you a rough price of back then what they were actually worth. So to be fair the prices are very similar these days so apart from the first editions have gone and skyrocketed in price. Um, lost a bit of focus there. Um, but the English second edition which is the non shadowless version is about $35 to $45. Now that's kind of about what you get um, on eBay. Um, in a okay-ish condition so the, the prices are not too far out um, some of them are inflated you know some cards are increasing value some decreasing value so um, you couldn't really take this as much of a, a guide anymore but it's still quite a cool little thing to show you guys I mean they do Japanese sets as well so you've got the Japanese information there again the prices have all changed but yeah it's a cool little cool little book um, okay, so let's start with this big SAS protectors folder. Um, I was actually given this folder. Um, I can't remember, I think I bought a bulk load of Pokemon cards. So in this one we have, um, <laughs> let me see if I can adjust the camera, hold on a second. The tripod wasn't very helpful so we're going to freestyle it. So here are the hollows of um, the Team Rocket set. So as you can see, there's Alexam, Dark Arbok and Dark Blastoise, um, all in really, really good condition. Um, there's a bit of wear on this Dark Arbok. Um, and then we come down, we've got a Dark Charizard here. This one has a dink in the top corner. However, I do have two more versions of this in my Charizard collection. Um, I put this one in here just to complete the set. So it's not the greatest condition, but you know, I've still got others that are not in the set. Uh, we've got Dark Dragonite Hollow, Dark Dog Trio, we have Dark Hypno, uh, Dark Gyarados here is a pre-release, um, so it's worth a little bit more, um, just because it was a pre-release version, um, and then you've got Dark Golbat, and then if we turn the page and go up, we have Dark Machamp, sorry about my shadow guys, it's just in the way, but it's just the way the lighting works in this room, it's not very good, so Dark Magton, Dark Blastoise Hollow, and then we come down, we have uh, Dark Vile Plume. I also have the Japanese version of this card. Um, and Dark Weez in there. And we have the Hollow Hit Combs Team Rocket, which was also done in the pre uh, the reprint of um, Evolutions, I think it was, um, as a secret rare. And then if we come down again, sorry about the shadow guys, uh, we have a Hollow. I don't think you can see, really see it very well there. Um, this is a. Uh, rocket sneak attack. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it's hollow. And then the rainbow energy hollow there. Um, and then they reprinted these. I think they started in jungle. Is they would do the hollow version and then the non-hollow version. So then we have all of the non-hollow versions as well. Dark last door, Dark Charizard, and all the way down. Charizard, Hypno, and Dark Champ, and then I'll just show you guys the, the full pages here because they're not that interesting <laughs> once you get past all of the, the hollows. Um, so it's a complete set. And we are missing one card, which I couldn't seem to find. Um, but now I'm making this video, I might actually go find that card. Um, and we've also got the final, which is the first secret rare that they did is a Dark Raichu in the Team Rocket set. 
Uh, this one is in okay condition, it's been lightly played, so there's some scratches on the surface, but if you watch one of my previous videos, I have two more versions. I have a first edition of this card and another hollow version which is in a mint condition. So if you want to see that, the links are in the description. Okay, and we will just pause and I'll get the next, uh, a new binder, um, but it's got my fossil set in it. Uh, and these ones are only four per page. So to start off with, we have an Aerodactyl pre-release first edition. I also have another version of this in my other folder, um, which isn't a pre-release or a first edition. Uh, then we've got Articuno, and we have a Hollow Ditto and a Hollow Dragonite fossil version. Um, this is one of the wor weirdest ones, is that they did a Hollow Gengar and a Hollow Haunter in the set. Um, which normally is the stage 2's or, or um, basics that were hollows and then in this one they did a stage 1 so there we go again Hypno is a stage 1 but he's the last one in the evolution chain when this was released so having the Haunter when you have Ghastly as well and the Gengar was a bit strange so you have Kabuto and Lapras fossils uh, Magneton and Moltres, they are hollow as well, as you can see, there you go, a bit hollow there. Uh, and then you have Muck, I have a first edition Muck as well. Uh, again, check out the links below, they have all of the, the other sets in there. So we have Raichu and Zapdos, and then we go back into the non hollows again. So you have Aerodactyl, Akuno, Ditto, Dragonite, Gengar. And I'll zoom out so you can see the full sets. So, I love the right shoes. I've got a few right shoes. Um, so, we have a first edition Golem there. Um, I do have some more first editions uh, for these like commons and uncommons, but they're not in this set. They're actually <laughs> on eBay for sale right now. Um, so, the slow grow tentacle. So, I'll just flip through these guys so you can see. And that is a complete set. So that's the, the fossil. So let me just quickly switch over to the jungle. So we have Clefable Electrode. We have Flareon Jolteon. And then, which is weird. I don't know why they did this numbering, because these are all in numbered order. So you have Flareon Jolteon, but then Vaporeon's way over here. It's like they didn't really like him that much. It's not the cool brother. So, get this calm, mine, get a queen, Pidgeot, Pinsar Cypher, Snorlax and Vaporeon, and then we have Venomoth, Vitribel, Vileplume, Wigglytuff, all hollows, and then we go back into the, the set where they don't have the hollow on them. So again, Flareon, Jolteon, uh, I'll just come out and you can see that these are all the non-hollow versions. And then we go back into the uncommons and commons. So I think this is another complete set. Uh, yeah. So the last one was the Pokeball uh, in that set. So that was a quick one, but that was the the uh, jungle set. So this is the original binder. That was the official release one. Uh, this one is in pretty crap condition. I didn't look after it very well growing up so the spines all damaged um, and the, there's a lot of scratching in there but this is the base set so Alexam Blastoise Hollow we have Chansey base set Charizard probably the one of most sought after cards in the, in the entire collection doesn't matter what set apart from the new hyper rare Charizard that's in the burning shadow set this is the card that everybody wants so this one's actually <laughs> the only one in here that's also in a sleeve inside the cover. So we have Clefairy, Gyarados, Hitmonchan, Machamp. <laughs> now, this is what really winds me up on when I'm looking for to buy new cards. Is that on eBay, because it says it's a first edition, everyone thinks it should be really expensive, but it's not. And the reason behind why it was so is every single Machamp from Base Set is a first edition was a printing error 
and you know when you get a theme deck um, the theme deck had Machamp as the hollow card and every single Machamp got printed as a first edition so you won't be able to find a first uh, a Machamp from base set that doesn't have this first edition logo on it so the only time you will see it is in a new evolutions version where they didn't mess the printing one up so don't think if you're going to buy this card that it's rare um, because it says a first edition on it it's not don't waste your money <laughs> um, okay so magneton mewtwo need a king nine tails Polyrath, Raichu, uh, Venusaur, and Zapdos. And then we go back into the Uncommons. See, in this set, they didn't actually do the repeat of the Hollows in a non-Hollow version. They started that in the Jungle set. So again, this is pretty much an almost complete set. I think I'm missing a Trainer card. So, just go through this real quick. So yeah, that's the one, the one card that I need to complete this set. So there you go guys, that is my whole Pokemon collection now, in a video format, on YouTube. Um, so tell me guys, what, what was your favourite card? Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the thumbs up button, it will help spread the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.